Hey, eighth graders. So our first lesson is going to be over variables and expressions. Um, this next slide is your vocabulary. Make sure you look over it. Um, I, these are the words that we're going to use in class to describe these different things. Um, and now we're going to talk about how to write an expression or how to write our expressions. So uh, we all know that addition is the following symbol, right? Um, and then uh, this meaning one, these are the words that we will see that will tell us that we are adding or that we have an addition expression happening. So sum, because that's the answer to an addition problem, plus, so these are the two obvious ones. Um, another one is total. And then we have more than. I love it when it does that. Uh, more than and increased by. Now, these, this is not the exhausted list, but these are the ones that are most common. Uh, so when we look at our example here, we have the sum, and I'm going to circle my keywords, of 2 and a number x. And so this number x, this is just saying it's a variable. So sum means addition. So 2 plus x. And so that's the sum of 2 and a number x. Subtraction, we all know what that looks like. But here's that symbol. And words that help us know that we are subtracting would be uh, difference, because that's the answer. Uh, less than, minus, and decreased by. Again, not an exhaustive list, but a good starting point. Um, so when we look at our example here, we have the difference of a number in and six. So difference is our keyword. And do keep in mind that the order matters when we're subtracting. So difference of a number in and six. Uh, the other one to keep in mind is that less than flip-flops. So if you see less than, you've got to flip-flop the order. So whatever is Normally, when we read the subtraction, whatever is listed first is first, and whatever is listed second is, you know, the second place. But if you see less than, you need to flip-flop. What is listed first needs to go as what is being subtracted, um, and we'll see an example of that later. Multiplication, we talked about this the other day. We are going to use a dot or two parentheses next to each other, or a number next to our letter, letter x, right, or any other variable for that matter. Uh, words that help us know that we are multiplying would be time. So again, um, times was what I was writing. I had a little edit thing there. Sorry, I'm still getting used to uh, writing on my tablet again, and if I push too hard, it puts that menu up times product because product is the answer to a multiplication product or multiplication problem uh, multiplied by and of uh, of is mostly with fractions like when you see of that's mostly when we're talking about fractions um, so like here, one-fourth of a number x. And so that means one-fourth x, or one-fourth is in parentheses, and our x is in parentheses, or one-fourth dot x. All of those are perfect examples or ways to write it. Um, and then we have division. Division looks like a fraction bar with dots taking place for our numerator and our denominator. Um, the other way we can write division is indeed the fraction bar. I'm going to use A and B as placeholders there. Uh, words that help us know that we are dividing would be quotient, 
Did I spell that right? No, I did not. Let's try that one one more time. You're going to find out that I'm, I got the math, but I don't always have the spelling. I got a little too ahead of myself here. Um, quotient divided by and divided into. And there's probably more that you can think of, like halved or uh, third or something like that. All right, the quote for our example, the quotient, I lost my mouse. There it is. My red dot went away. The quotient of a number k and 2. Remember, this also matters on our order. So k divided by 2 or k divided by 2 or k halves. All right, so those are some examples. Um, other things to remember is that order matters when subtracting and dividing. Adding and multiplying, it's okay if you flip-flop your order because of the commutative property. But when we subtract or when we divide, we have to mat order matters. That's the biggest thing. Order matters. All right, so we're going to go through some examples here. We're going to write the algebraic expression for the word phrase. So here's our first one. Three more than twice a number x. So we've got a couple things going on here. We have more than. We have the word twice. And then we have our three and our x. So more than means addition and twice means two times. So I know I'm going to have 3 plus 2 times x. And there's our answer for that one. And that's all that we're doing. Um, it would also be okay to also write 2x plus 3. Both of those are the same. All right. Our next one, we have 9 less than the quotient of 6 in a number x. So this less than, this is where we have to do that flip-flop. So I know I'm doing minus 9. And we're subtracting that from the quotient of 6 and x. So quotient means divide. So we're going to take 6 divided by x. 6 divided by x. Now you could also do 6 divided by x. I would put that in parentheses. Minus 9. Uh, but either one of those, they are the same thing because those are the two ways we can write division. And last one for this video, the product of 4 and the sum of a number x and 7. So we've got product. That means multiplication. Uh, and we've got sum, which means addition. And so product, we're going to do 4. I'm going to use parentheses times. And then we've got the sum of x and 7, so x plus 7. And so now when I look at this, I have 4 times x plus 7, which is what the sentence, another way that the sentence is uh, talking to us, because we've got that multiplication, or product and sum, meaning multiply and add. And that's what I've got for you. So that is it for Lesson 1. Uh, go to your Math Excel, and I will see you for Lesson 2. Peace out, 8th graders.